Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today episode 6.6 .6 of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. Episode 6.6 .6 is entitled Cunningness and Deceit. Amongst people who are obsessed or possessed by a negative astral being, there will be an inability to speak truthfully. For instance, the obsessed or possessed person often projects his or her own soul qualities on those who are not obsessed. This is a form of psychological projection or self-lying, perhaps. As I understand it, the Bible also mentions a quality of Satan to lay false accusations against the innocent. That leads me to the notion that the negative astral beings do not understand the notion of speaking truthfully or else do not value it. In short, they must be liars. For more about that, you can see a prior episode in this series entitled Satan is a Great Deceiver. He Speaks as a Dragon. Then there's another episode entitled Satan Causes Men to Lie. And a few more, Accuser of the Brethren. And the episode Devil, Murderer, father of lies. These are in section four of this video series which is entitled Qualities of Satan, Demons and Devils According to the Bible. I have an image for you entitled Children in the Forest by Ivan Kromskoy, 1887 in Wikimedia Commons. It's in the public domain and it looks like this. Here are two little children in a forest, the, a, a very dark forest, but where they're standing in a sort of a forest meadow is, is brightly lit by the sunlight, yet the darkness of the surrounding area gives it a feeling of foreboding there. Here are my comments on the painting. In a way, this painting reminds me of the qualities of Satan as being full of cunningness and deception. Here are two children in the forest. They're exploring happily and without fear. The forest itself is dark and foreboding. Were it not for the father, the painter, there to protect them, some wild beast might come and carry them away. In the same way, Satan presents to our human eyes a seemingly delightful woodland meadow for our childish enjoyment. Entranced with the garden, we fail to notice him lurking amongst the trees, waiting for a chance to do us in. Were it not for our Heavenly Father, who paints the moving picture of our earthly lives and stands ever at the ready to protect us against Satan's snares, we might not enjoy the garden of earthly delights with such childish innocence. Well, that's all for now, dear ones. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.